Why do we need art? Why? Hmm. Well, it's relatively silly. That is, in my mind's eye. You know, art comes under the auspices of love. Because art, it's a gift. It's a gift from God. It's like the human voice, which is the perfect, perfect instrument, which is God made. Unlike the contrabass that I just played, is man made. But it depends on how much love there is when it comes to people in general. It just, love is the most important thing. And art, is the one thing that exudes love. Think about the song I just played, softly as in a morning sunrise. Well, that's love. That's, that's the way unconditional love feels to me. The artist, so many centuries ago, have left us treasures of all kinds visual, music, dance, speaking of dance. You've always heard this sarcastic statement sometimes. Oh, you, a <laughs> song and a dance. Well, the reality is a song and a dance is the one thing that will display the inner feelings and emotions of a culture. You want to know about a culture? Listen to them sing, watch them dance. It's there. So art, again, comes in so many different forms. But it's still love. It's still reduced to its lowest terms, love. Now, when I was a very young man, and I'll say that, young man, at age seven, because I felt like I was a little man. That's what I was told I was. Come on, little man, let's go and listen to Lyle Hampton and Louis Armstrong. Yes, I was blessed. Washington, D.C. had some of the best music anywhere in the world. Principally, it was the home of Duke Ellington. So by the time I was seven, I had heard all this music live. So here I am, not having the foggiest idea the value of art, but I'm still internalizing this wonderful treasure that we have known as art. As I grew, then I started to explore when it comes to art, and I spent so much time in the Smithsonian, the old brick building, the old brick Smithsonian in Washington, D.C., every Sunday. And then it just kept evolving, my love of this art of all kinds. And lo and behold, when I was 16 or so, after having, been, after having played the piano and the drums, I learned to play the organ. That changed everything for me. I wasn't sure about even being a professional musician. I just enjoyed the music. I enjoyed being this conduit of this energy known as music, which is an art form all to itself. And learning to play the organ actually confirmed my feelings about how I was raised, and I was raised in the church. But I was able to be a one-man orchestra, and that was pretty amazing to look in the faces of people when you're actually making music and you're bringing joy to their lives. It's, it's 
magic doesn't even come close to the word. It's not the most applicable word. It's that gift. It's that gift again where when you recognize the fact that you can humble yourself to play music and be this conduit to the people. You see, that's why art is so important. Okay, sure, we, we have a lot of cultures that will capitalize on it in so many different ways, financially, so forth and so on and so on. But the musicians have become wiser. The artists have been, become wiser where they can take control of the business aspects of this art. Well, a lot of the people that are receiving this art, they are not aware of all of this that's happening in the background, but it's still art, still exudes to me love. And I can't imagine being a human being on this planet without art. And it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm a musician. It's just that how could we exist as human beings without art? This art, the treasures are still being found. The earth is opening and revealing treasures that have never been found. Art. I like to sing. Without music, the world would be flat. Oh, pardon the pun. That's the blues, B flat. Oh, yeah, right. Well, a true artist knows how to use other breathing and living things as a barometer to measure the quality of his, his art. It's kind of a far-fetched statement, but in San Diego, the aquarium had music, and we played jazz, all acoustic instruments. And it was just wonderful for all of those living beings in the water, on just on the other side there. They brought in electronic music and played, and some of those animals died. So we're dealing with art. When you say art, art is the purest form. Art gives life. It does not take it. That's why we need art. Remember, it gives life. It doesn't take it. And those of us who are artists must, by all means, assume this identity and this personality of selflessness. It's not about us. We're just mere conduits of this energy. And once we accept that position, then we will not have a problem telling the truth, which that's what art is all about, telling the truth. It reflects history. It reflects current events. It, 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 it records so much. But the one I like is, no doubt, love is the one. And in closing, I would just like to say that if we can all recognize art as being such a beautiful place to be, whether you are the giver or the recipient. Art is the secret. Art is the secret to quality of life. Thank you very much. <laughs>